Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. Hey everyone, welcome to the show. So 54-year-old New York resident and former police officer Sarah Carpenter is someone that you'll remember. What you're going to remember most is the short that I shared of uh, Carpenter. She was screaming at the Capitol Police. She was yelling at them that she's an animal. <laughs> so um, in the days leading up to January 6th, Carpenter texted a friend and she was joking about her funeral if she didn't come back from the Capitol. Well, on January 6th, Carpenter watched Donald Trump's speech. She headed to the Capitol. When she reached the restricted grounds, there was already violence taking place. She saw the police trying to keep the mob back. They were deploying chemicals. Um, but after the police line collapsed, Carpenter moved forward towards the building with the rest of the mob. And on two different occasions, she was seen on video moving metal barricades to get closer to the Capitol. And the prosecutor said that her, quote, brazenness inspired other rioters to follow her lead. As Carpenter reached the Upper West Terrace doors that had been breached, um, if, if the few officers who were guarding that entrance, or actually it's an exit only, but people had broken in, they were called away. They were called to respond to shots fired on the House floor. So Carpenter illegally entered the building along with many others. She made her way through various areas of the building. And when she was in the rotunda, she saw some other people in there. They were gesturing for the mob to follow them, to come with them down the hallway. So she started following them and then she turned around. She started gesturing for other people to follow her. So at this point, they had amassed a large group. Carpenter headed down the hallway with all these people to the old Senate chamber. So a large group had gathered in that hallway and the police had formed a line to stop them from getting deeper into the Capitol. So Carpenter maneuvered herself to the front of the police line. And then this is where the infamous I'm an animal video was recorded. She kept getting in the officer's faces. She was shaking a tambourine and Carpenter was screaming at them, quote, it ain't stopping. This is my house. And then, as I said, I'm an animal. I'm a fucking animal, <laughs> among other things. I mean, she was just out of control. So the officers kept pushing her back because they didn't want her to get everybody else all agitated and then have everybody just overwhelm them. And at one point, she slapped one of their arms with her tambourine. She was so out of control that other people in the mob were stepping in. They were trying to hold her back and stop her. So Carpenter and the others eventually did start pushing on the police line, and it got so aggressive that some of the officers lost their footing. So the police were forced to just spray the crowd. They had to spray them with chemicals. Now, most of the crowd retreated at that point, but Carpenter didn't. She didn't budge. She told the police, quote, this ain't nothing. And then she changed her tune. She tried a different tactic. She tried to convince them just to allow her through to, quote, inspect her house. <laughs> and even after Carpenter left that area, she remained inside the building. She did not leave until she was forced out of the rotunda again, until she was, you know, basically forced out of the building entirely. As she exited the building, Carpenter raised her tambourine in the air, she's like celebrating, and then she yelled to the crowd, quote, the breach was made and it needs to calm down now. Congress needs to come out. They need to certify Trump as president and this is our house. So remember that she said the breach was made. Okay, following the Capitol attack, Carpenter realized she screwed up, it seems like. Yet she still tried to justify her actions. So in one message, Carpenter wrote, quote, what the fuck did I do that for? If it were BLM, I would be like those savages. Then in a subsequent message, she referred to Biden's inauguration as a desecration. And she said that his inauguration was worse than the Capitol attack. And then, of course, in true MAGA fashion, she falsely claimed the police waved her into the building, 
Remember she said the breach was done? They, they did the breach? No, now she was waved into the building. And she said she witnessed no violence. Uh, you know, everything was just so calm, except for her screaming at officers. She's an animal and hitting them with her tambourine. But and other than that, so Carpenter was arrested on March 23rd of 2021. And in a superseding indictment, she was charged with civil disorder, obstructing an official proceeding, entering a restricted building or grounds, two counts of disorderly conduct, impeding passage in a capital, and parading or demonstrating in a capital. Carpenter refused a plea deal. She opted for a jury trial, and a police lieutenant testified at Carpenter's trial, and he said that, quote, he had never seen anything like January 6th. And this isn't just like some beat cop, you know, giving out parking tickets. This is a lieutenant who worked in D.C. on September 11th. Remember, one of the buildings there was attacked, too, and he was on the force during the anthrax attacks and then also he was on the force during the period of the dc sniper so that's how bad january 6 was in his opinion when all was said and done carpenter was found guilty on all counts and that was in march of 2023 based on the felony obstruction conviction carpenter was facing up to 20 years in prison three years of probation and 250,000 in fines. The prosecutor though requested 66 months in prison, three years of probation and 2000 in restitution. And they told the judge that Carpenter has refused to show any contrition. She's shown no remorse. She's refused to cooperate with the probation office. And she appears to have lied about her finances. She told them that she still has an outstanding mortgage, but they said it looks like her house is paid for. Um, so U.S. District Judge James Bosberg presided over Carpenter's case. I couldn't locate any details about what was said at the sentencing hearing, but Carpenter's attorney wrote in her sentencing memo to the judge that Carpenter, quote, has long struggled with mental health issues. She also said that Carpenter's mental health deteriorated after the 9-11 terrorist attack in New York, and evidently Carpenter was one of the responding officers and due to her severe depression, she was placed on disability and she retired in 2004. In the end, the judge sentenced Carpenter to 22 months in prison, two years of probation and 2000 in restitution. So a decent sentence for someone who didn't physically harm officers. And, you know, as we all know, prison is a scary place as it is for cops. Uh, it's even more of a nightmare. So i i guess i wish her well i don't know um hope hopefully she wakes up all right thank you all so much for watching and listening please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have not please become a donor if you possibly can love you all take care talk with you soon